Hello everyone, this is Lira and Oscar Tanner, Programming and Technology Services Librarian at the New Home Public Library, here to bring you another tutorial about our great digital resources. Today we'll be looking at how to manage your library account in the catalog on a desktop and laptop computer. So I've opened up my browser and I've gone to the library's homepage, which you can reach by typing www.newomlibrary.org into your URL bar and it'll redirect you to our page. On the right hand side of the screen is where you're going to find our link to the library catalog and when you click on it it opens in a new tab which i've already done right here now to access your account you're going to log in by clicking on this box in the upper right hand corner so if i click on that it brings me to this page and i'll need to enter the barcode for my library card the whole thing and then password by default this is blank unless you have set one. And so if you don't remember making a password or PIN, leave this blank and click Submit. And when we get into your account, I'll show you how to set your password. If you have set your password, go ahead and input it here. But if you don't remember it, uh, you can click on the Forgot Your Password link, or you can give us a call at the library and we'll be happy to help you get it reset. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and enter my information here. And Looks like I need to make sure I, and that's why you have to make sure that you type everything exactly correct. And now you know what it looks like if it you forgot your password. Okay, now click submit. Okay, and now we're in. Uh, same main page, except now in the upper right hand corner, instead of having a login button, button there's log out and then also my account. So if I click on my account, it brings you to here has your home library your contact email and then on the left side here uh, different things for you to look at so if i click on holds i don't have any holds at the moment if i click on checkouts it shows everything checked out on my card for my family here uh, and you can create lists you can do research citations we'll take a look at that when we uh, go to look at search in a minute but for each of your items they have a checkbox here and you can check specific boxes and then click renew marked and it will renew them if there is a hold on it by another patron it won't let you renew it because they're waiting for that item uh, you can also click renew all and it will renew all your items for you you can sort them by checkout either uh, from the ones you've checked out first or the ones you've checked out most recently and up here you can edit your account this is where you can update your address update your email address things like that. And if you have not set a password pin, you left that box blank, edit pin. This is where you're gonna put it in. Now to create your pin, it's gonna ask you to enter it twice and it needs to be at least four digits long. It has to be numbers, letters, or special characters. Uh, so you can't use punctuation, uh, but you can use uh, things like dollar signs and pound key and, and things like that. Uh, and it has to be at least four digits long. All right, let's take a look at how things are different and mostly the same in the search box. So let's go ahead and let's search for castles. All right, again, on the left side of the screen, you'll see all the different ways that we can refine our search. So let's say I want to find a nonfiction book about castles for one of my kids because they're interested. So first, let's see if we can find any books that are located. Oop, it just jumped. Here we go. Find any books that are located just here in New Ulm, and I'll click Apply. So that brought it down to 110, and now let's click just the ones that aren't checked out right now. And let's say we're looking for a book to read. And Junior Literature, so that's going to be a nonfiction title. Okay, we scroll down, you see different titles. Remember, if we click on one of these, it'll take us into the item. Right here, we have the Request It button. So if we click Request It, then it will put it onto that Holds page that we looked at on our account. So scrolling down here, ooh, Haunted Histories. This looks fun. If I click on it, again, a little bit more information where I can physically find it in library. Per our search requirements, it's available. And again, I can hold it from the items individual page. Maybe I don't wanna check it out right now, but I want to add it to my cart, meaning I may check it out in future. So if I click add to cart, this item is in your book cart. 
and which is found up here. So every time you log into your account, items that you've flagged uh, for looking at later will appear here in your book cart. You can remove them. You can view all the items you place in your book cart. If you know someone else that's interested in a particular item the library has, you can email uh, and it'll link them to the catalog. Here's where you can do that citation information for a research report. And over here you can add tags to the item uh, about genre and so forth. Okay, now if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice it has recently viewed, which I've looked for. And if we click back to my account, and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it has not only that recently viewed item, but also the search that I performed there. And I can go to my book cart, my account, and I can also log out from down in here. And there's the log out button here at the top. All right, that's how you explore. Let's go ahead and log out. It's gonna ask you to confirm that you wanna log out. Click yes. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our details below. Thanks for watching.